In this video, we're going to have a look to see what happens when oxygen is deleted, removed completely from the website, and what happens to our content and our blocks within Gutenberg Editor. So here I have a page, and you can see I've added the same item twice, except in the second block, I changed the background and changed the text, so we can compare the two when reinstalled. And then I have some dynamic data here, so we can see if this information returns when we reactivate oxygen. So to get this working, I'm going to head over to plugins. We're going to delete oxygen, oxygen elements for WooCommerce and oxygen Gutenberg integration. We'll also remove hydrogen pack. First thing I'm going to do is just deactivate. So there we have deactivated. And now when we refresh the page, right, oxygen is completely gone from the website. If I go to edit the page, you'll see that we now get this message to say that your site doesn't include support for the oxygen blocks block. You can leave this block intact or remove it entirely. So as long as you leave the block intact there, we should have our data coming back. So now what I'm going to do is head over here to WordPress. And what I'm going to do for a quick check is just to reactivate those two elements before deleting. So we're going to just do all those three elements and we'll activate them again so that's just a simple deactivation and activation refresh right and you'll see that our blocks are back and you'll also see that the difference between those two stayed the same so yes the original block and then the edited block and the edits remain and then we have the dynamic data so we'll view the page to see those and yes, the dynamic data is still the same. Now what I'm going to do is head over to the plugins and now I'm going to completely delete. Before I do that, maybe we're just gonna have a quick look at the block library. And just to make sure yep, all the blocks are back. Now what I'm going to do is disable oxygen again. And so we're going to disable oxygen completely. And then what I'm going to do is delete oxygen as well so that we can check. So we're going to delete oxygen, oxygen elements for WooCommerce and the Gutenberg integration. So delete. Right, so we are now going to delete those three plugins. There they are, deleting, deleting and deleting so now oxygen is not present on the website anywhere and when we go to load up the page that's what we'll see and when we come to edit the page this is what we'll see so once again the error message saying that your site doesn't include support for the block you can leave this block intact or remove it entirely so we're going to leave the block there and then what we're going to do is reinstall oxygen so i'm going to add new and upload plugin choose file we'll head over here to oxygen open and install right installing the plugin let's activate the plugin head back to the website let's view the page and oxygen is back but we don't have any Gutenberg blocks. If I edit the page, I'm still going to get the error message because we don't have the Gutenberg blocks activated. So what I'll do now is I'm going to just come down here and then we're going to install. Yep, blocks are not supported yet. So now I'm going to add Gutenberg blocks. So upload plugin. oxygen and Gutenberg open install so we'll install that plugin quickly and now we should get all our blocks back into the website activate so once the blocks are activated we should see them coming up here inside WordPress So 
So let's just refresh that. Right, so updated. Let's have a look and see what returns here inside WordPress. Let's give that another whirl. Right, so there we have the blocks back and we have the original block. We have the edited block. The dynamic content is back. I'm going to view the page. And yes, our edits were returned to what they were before we did the oxygen delete and reinstall. And now you'll see that we have this area here and that's just because we don't have WooCommerce installed, the WooCommerce module. Add new upload plugin. Let's head back to Oxygen and we'll Oxygen WooCommerce. Right, activate the plugin and now when I refresh you'll see uh, as soon as that's just oh, need to activate come on so that should activate quite soon and then you'll see that the error messages will be no more there we go so now with the oxygen back the error messages are gone so if you delete content reinstall your content returns and even edited WordPress content is fine and now if we go over here to our block library our block library here then you'll see that all the blocks are back so yes you can delete and then reinstall oxygen and the content in your Gutenberg blocks will return as it was before you deleted. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.